I'm often accused of being Islamophobic, as are many who call attention to the reality of jihad terror. In George Orwell's Nightmare of a Totalitarian Future, the novel 1984, a secret police monitors citizens for so-called thought crimes against the totalitarian state. A thought crime is an idea or an attitude the totalitarian rulers deem to be politically incorrect. Islamophobia, which is generally understood to be an irrational or pathological hatred of Muslims or Islam, is the name that has been given to a modern-day thought crime, and a global movement is promoting its incorporation into law today. In the term Islamophobia, the purpose of the suffix is to suggest that any fear or phobia associated with Islam, for example, the calls of its prophet or its current-day imams to kill infidels, or the attacks of 9-11 which implemented those calls, is simply irrational. And worse, Islamophobia is a response to those attacks that reflects a bigotry that itself should be feared. That's the idea. Islam, however, is different from Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, and most other faiths in that it is a political religion. Muslims recognize no separation between religion and state, and in the canonical texts and teachings of Islam, Islam regards all other religions and non-religions as infidel creeds. Moreover, Islam aspires to establish a global Islamic state a caliphate that would impose Islamic law on individuals everywhere and criminalize heretical thoughts. And that's where Islamophobia comes in. Abdurrahman Muhammad is a former member of the International Institute of Islamic Thought. He was present when the word Islamophobia was created, but he now characterizes the whole concept of Islamophobia this way. He says, this loathsome term is nothing more than a thought-terminating cliché conceived in the bowels of Muslim think tanks for the purpose of beating down critics. In short, in its very origins, Islamophobia was a term designed as a weapon to stigmatize and silence anyone who opposed jihad terror. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or OIC, which is 56 Muslim governments worldwide and the Palestinian Authority, began a campaign against Islamophobia in 2008. The OIC declared its intention to craft a legal instrument to fight against the threat to Islam from what they said were political cartoonists and bigots. Of course, they were referring to the Danish cartoons of Muhammad that appeared in 2005, touching off international riots and killings by Muslims worldwide, the burning of embassies, the murder of non-Muslims, including a Catholic nun. Ekmel Adin Isanolu, the Secretary General of the OIC at that time, said Muslims are being targeted by a campaign of defamation, denigration, stereotyping, intolerance, and discrimination. Note that he was talking about the cartoons of Muhammad, not the people who were killed over the cartoons of Muhammad. Isanolu went on to say, Islamophobia cannot be dealt with only through cultural activities, but through a robust political engagement. That engagement would be directed toward restricting the freedom of speech. Abdullaye Wade, president of Senegal at that time and the OIC chairman, explained it this way. He said, I don't think freedom of expression should mean freedom from blasphemy. There can be no freedom without limits. In July 2008, in a briefing on Capitol Hill, Pakistani embassy representative Asma Fatima defended the Muslim outrage as necessary and called for restrictions on speech that insulted Islam. She said, the ideal of freedom of speech is precious to you, but it's not value neutral. You don't have to hurt people's sentiments and bring them to the point where they have to react in strange ways. This is the ultimate goal of charges of Islamophobia, to stigmatize, demonize, marginalize, and ultimately criminalize criticism of Islam, such that jihad terror activities can continue unimpeded and unopposed. The charge of Islamophobia is a valuable tool the allies and supporters of jihad terrorists have to silence the foes of jihad terror. For more information, go to this website.